Hello developers. This channel always brings you the best UI tips and tricks to make your designs look stunning. And if you love learning about advanced CSS, hit the like button and subscribe. It really motivates me to make more videos. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever wondered how to create smooth circular progress indicators, multicolor pie charts, or even animated gradient effects using just CSS? Well, today, I'll show you how to achieve all of this using conic gradients and the mysterious property rule in CSS. This technique lets you create interactive and animated UI elements without writing a single line of JavaScript. So let's dive in. What is property in CSS? Before we jump into the gradient magic, let's talk about something incredibly powerful but rarely used, CSS property. CSS variables, also known as custom properties, are great, but have you ever noticed they don't animate smoothly when changing values? That's because CSS doesn't know what kind of data these variables hold. But here's the game changer. Property allows us to define variables with specific types, making smooth animations possible. With property, we can declare a custom variable name, a data type such as percentage or angle, a default initial value. Let me show you how we used it in our circular progress loader. We define a custom property and tell CSS that it holds a percentage value so it can animate smoothly. The inherits property ensures that child elements don't automatically take this value from their parent. Finally, the initial value sets a default progress of zero. This allows us to animate the progress smoothly when the value changes. Now let's move to the heart of today's tutorial. What is conic gradient in CSS? A conic gradient is a special type of gradient that spreads colors around a central point, unlike linear or radial gradients. Think of it as a color wheel, where the colors transition smoothly around a circle. The syntax is simple. It defines a starting color and an ending color, with angles specifying how much of the gradient each color should take. Now let's break down each effect we created using conic gradients. Example 1 dynamic circular progress loader. Imagine you want to show a progress percentage inside a circular loader. We set a gradient with two colors, one representing the progress and the other representing the remaining part of the circle. The progress value changes on hover, updating the filled portion dynamically. Since we defined it using property, it animates smoothly, creating a beautiful effect without JavaScript. Example two, multicolor radial pie chart. Next, we have a perfectly divided pie chart created using a single conic gradient function. Each color starts and ends at a specific degree value, dividing the circle into multiple equal parts. You can adjust the angles to change the distribution of colors in the pie chart. This is an easy way to create pie charts in CSS without any SVG or JavaScript. Example three, rotating gradient animation. Now, let's add some cool animation. This example creates a rotating color gradient effect using keyframes. The conic gradient spreads multiple colors across the circle. A simple animation rotates the entire div continuously. The animation applies a smooth rotation infinitely at a steady speed, making it perfect for futuristic UI animations or loading spinners. Example four, hover triggered color swirl. The last example makes the gradient swirl change dynamically on hover. The conic gradient starts at zero degrees, transitioning through multiple colors. On hover, the gradient shifts, creating a smooth swirling effect. A simple transition ensures that the color change happens smoothly, making this effect visually appealing and interactive. This effect adds an interactive element to any UI. Great for buttons, cards, and loaders. Final thoughts. Now, you've seen how CSS property unlocks smooth animations and how conic gradients let you create incredible UI effects. Imagine using these tricks to design interactive dashboards, loading animations, or eye-catching UI components. So, which example was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more advanced CSS tutorials, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. See you in the next video.